Morning Show. Podcast. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When we call your man, he'd better choose you. Let's dig into this. Holly, good morning. Good morning. So I'm reading your email for War of the Roses, and um, you stop me if I'm wrong in this. You and Sean been dating for two and a half years. Yeah. And there's nothing overtly wrong in the relationship, right? There's nothing like, it, you know, communication is good. He treats you well. There's nothing where you go, hmm, this is off, right? You know, not exactly. I just, I got this idea in my head because... Well, his bedroom ability has gotten better. Okay. Oh, and so let's okay. let's walk this back a little bit. So, again, dating together for two okay. and a half years. How long did we date uh, or talk? How long was the courting process? Are we talking like three years total or is it, you know, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so three years dating. Um, he travels a lot for work, right? Yeah. Like how like many, right now he's in Nashville. Okay. And how, <laughs> how many weeks a month is he out of town? Or how, I mean, not full weeks, but how many weeks of the month is he out of town? I'd say every other week. Every other week? Is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Okay. So every other week he's out of town, and uh, the only reason we're kind of thinking something is up is because his bedroom uh, ability, so to speak, he has uh, progressed, if you will. Uh, how so? And I guess, you know, as, as cleanly as we can say, like he was sure. uh, like a, a five and then progressed, or like the I, pizza was always good, now you put hot sauce on it, or we got stuffed crust? <laughs> right, right. I uh, I don't know. It just feels like out of nowhere, I would say maybe he was a six before in terms of being risque and like trying new things, but now like really just suddenly the party goes on longer, mm-hmm. and yeah, I'm kind of suspect mm-hmm. as to how. Okay. That is kind of suspicious. So I guess like yeah. now that you, uh, so let me get a couple questions here. First question is how long ago did you, thinking back, realize that things had changed? Like the spiciness was taking up a notch? Yeah, I mean, like because he's so in and out, I was, it didn't quite come clear to me until I would say about a month. Okay. You know, uh, like kind of. <laughs> The word, like, the word choice like, is so okay. far being fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's so great. Okay. And so that's when the first thought was like, okay, this is different. And now I suppose a month, a, a month of thinking every time he's out of town, is he learning this with somebody else? Right. Okay. Aside from that, though, there's nothing like no, no shadiness on the phone. Like the, the communication is, uh, fine. Um, yeah. out of town and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's all okay. great. Have you ever traveled on the road with him or has that been shut down? No. No. Was it ever an option Definitely or is it just down. kind of like it never brought it up? <laughs> it just, it's, yeah, it's okay. never been brought up. And so uh, he's in Nashville now, supposed to be back in town this weekend, though, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's call him off from the flowers. Mm. Obviously, it should go to you. Yes. Uh, we're close to Valentine's Day. It should really go to you. Um, if he does send to you, uh, we can put him on hold and see what you want to do. If he sends somebody else, we'll get some answers that way to you, okay? Okay, As War of the Roses on your morning show. War of the Roses on your morning show. Holly, let me recap this real quick. And there are a couple texts coming in, too, uh, that I want to get to. But you and Sean have been together two and a half years, like uh, almost three years total if you include the courting process. Everything is fine. Like There's nothing overtly that you go, hmm, wrong. He travels a lot for work basically every other uh, week. And maybe the last month or so you sort of notice his bedroom ability has gone to the next level. Like he he upgraded from the you know the London broil to like the prime rib at at dinner. Like he did that. <laughs> is that fair? Yes. And we got thinking perhaps <laughs> that he is learning things somewhere else, and that is why he's gotten so good. Yeah. Now um, you, you mentioned that you've never traveled him at work. Somebody texted in. Have you met his coworkers? Slash, do you trust his coworkers? Ooh, good question. Oh yeah, that is a good question. I have. I've okay. A couple of them. And they seem chill. Okay. Does he okay. work? Does he travel usually with men or with women, or does he travel by himself? With men. Okay. 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 I think that was kind of what they're implying was perhaps yeah. it was, uh, something like that. So okay. we've had that happen before. Yeah. You have? Oh. No, I'm saying we've had. Oh, that. Okay, I was going to say, with what the hell is going on? A rose is within me. a rose. No. We. Yeah. About to do the show. About to do a rose. Be a rose. Roses within War of the no, Roses no, 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 on your no. morning show. No, no, All right, no. so let me do this, Holly. I'll call him off from the flowers. Obviously, should go to you. Him being out of town, coming back uh, this weekend. If he sends to you, we'll put him on hold and see what you want to do. We can hang up or whatever. If he sends somebody else, we'll get some answers for you too, okay? Okay, cool. Hold on one second. I'm going to do this real quick. 
Um, I've, you almost gave me a heart attack, bro. No, like I was say, I we've like had I that known happen on a War of the Roses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's kind of my first uh, <laughs> thought, too. So let me just do this. Do, do, do. Hello? Hi, call for Sean, please. This is he. Hey, Sean, this is Michelangelo calling with YMS Flowers. How are you? Uh, good. Perfect. Listen, we are a local flower shop in the area, and uh, I'm calling you a quick. You popped on my list. We're trying to expand our business and uh, plant our seed and new potential uh, growers, if you will. And uh, I'm here to offer you a free bouquet of a dozen red roses to send anybody in the continental United States in parts of western Oklahoma. And I was wondering if that would be something you're interested in. I'm on your list. What is this again? So we are a local flower shop in the area, mom and pop shop. We are trying our best to uh, survive these uncertain times. We buy lists, from, if I'm being completely honest with you, ma'am, from uh, Instagram, Facebook, that kind of thing. And uh, you fit the profile of somebody who might be interested in flowers. So uh, we're calling to say, hey, we're here. It's our plant a seed, grow a seed program. The idea is that we plant our seed in you, and it uh, fertilizes. And one day after this, when you need flowers down the line, you uh, think of us, and we uh, can fulfill you again. Fill you with love. Okay. It's completely um, free. Again, it's a mom and pop shop. And again, if I'm just being honest, brother. Yeah, like, I don't have to give like a credit card or anything. No, no, no. No, <laughs> no if, and if I ask for a credit card, dude, you can hang up and slap me through the phone. Or slap so me through I the phone and hang flowers up. To, yes. I can send flowers for free. To anybody, yeah, and the idea is again, like that, that the flowers are. We take pride in our work. The flowers are so good, like you'll you'll be back for more. Once you get a taste, you can't resist. It's kind of, I mean, that's random, but uh, yeah, okay. I appreciate it, man. Right. You, you're helping out. You know, this is the whole thing is my idea. My mom and pa are not too uh, too proud because we've been a little bit uh, slacking on uh, orders. So, uh, they are a dozen long stem red roses. We take the thorns off. We uh, put nice. Uh, they use carbonated water because we have uh, more bougie flowers. Uh, I just need the first name of the person you want to send the flowers to. It comes with a card about 300 characters deep, about the size of a tweet. So the uh, the first name the person you want to send the flowers to. It's crazy. Okay. Why not? Um, yeah, go ahead. Uh, send them to, uh, to Holly. Holly? My girlfriend. And, uh, Wait, hold, hold on one yeah, second. So yeah, you asked them to, uh, to Holly, you said? Yeah, Holly. Okay. H O L L Y. Got it. And then my drop down box here Holly, wife, sister, fiance, mother, other. Uh, she's my girlfriend. Oh, very nice. And how long have you guys been together for? Uh, like two and a half years. Oh, very cool. Uh, congratulations. So the card to Holly, what do you want to say? <laughs> I, I don't know. You can just, uh, just say, uh, miss you. Can't wait to see you soon. It's very deep. It's very good. Uh, <laughs> no, that's good. That's good. Can I put you on a brief uh, pause for one second? Uh, yeah, sure. Right. Bless you. Hey, I'm Holly. <laughs> yeah, um, oh, it seems like a thing to say. Um, we can hang up, and this never happened, or we can just <laughs> flat out ask them. I, I, I guess, like my concern is, if we just hang up, the, you might still have those questions. I, I, no. I mean, I, I, I feel pretty silly actually right now. I think, I think. He's, okay, but so do you want yeah. to, to talk to him or to hang up? Oh, I. I mean, I guess let him know that I'm the one that's behind this, right? Okay, okay. Like that's fine. Think said it works. Right, hold, 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 hold on, hold on a second. Let's do it. Hey, uh, yeah. Sean. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. So, I okay, just got to come clean real quick. My name is John. I got Rose here as hey. well from your morning show. Uh, we're doing a War of the Roses for the show right now. I have your girlfriend, Holly, on the phone. Holly, if you want to say hello. Hi. Perfect. <laughs> So, uh, Sean, the, re the reason we're doing this, Sean, is Holly had thought that something um, was up, and we we're just making sure it wasn't. Um, I will say this, though. What? Yes. Of all the reasons to be on Roses, yours is pretty good, Holly. Um, I can explain for you, Holly, if you want. Yeah, okay. I guess. So, basically, uh, Sean, Holly noticed that your um, acrobatic skill in the bedroom had gotten better the last month or so. 
and she was uh, to the point where it must, you must have really upgraded, my friend, to uh, where she thought that... What is, like, actually happening? Well, she had thought that maybe you were learning from somebody else. So that's kind of why we did War of the Roses mm-hmm. on you. So, first of all, congrats. Are you serious? <laughs> I know, uh, I know, I know. Um, Holly, what... Is going on? <laughs> I mean, listen, you're you doing a good job. And... <laughs> what? Um, what is the? <laughs> what's the problem? You're doing too good in the bedroom for your skill set. <laughs> Allie, what? Is, I don't understand. Are, are you mad? Mad? Uh, no, like, you're basically letting the whole world know that I'm putting it down. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. War of the Roses is pre-taped and possibly edited for broadcast with permission granted from all participants. Want more roses? Go to ymsradio.com. So many texts coming in. War of the Roses on your morning show. 99338 for yours. Let's go on Haymarket. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. You wanted uh, to comment War of the Roses. What do you want to say? I think they're kind of cute together. A little bit. I think uh, it could go a lot worse than it did for sure. Melissa, thank you for calling. Have a great day. Sure, you too. And everything celebs, music, TV, Rose has your entertainment report coming next. What you got for us? Rihanna might be coming out with a kid's line. Plus $100 to Giant next. Hang on. If I miss it on the show, I download the podcast. Your morning show.